Hey, it's John with the Small Town, Small Time Reseller. Um, I am not here today because I sold a book. I sold two books! <laughs> All right, so first book I sold, um, this one, I'm going to go ahead and quit my job tomorrow and retire $4.95 plus shipping. So pretty happy about that. Get it out of the out of the bin. It's been sitting over there for quite a while. Um, brand new, never used, uh, but there's just were just a ton of them up on eBay, and they all seem to be going for about about that price. So I had nothing into it. It's one of those that you get at work, and um, you know, I I actually had multiple copies because I've gone through that training a few different campuses. So the other one I sold is this one, Will Adam Smith, um, the, not Will Smith, although I was thinking of the baseball player Will Smith, not the actor, when I said Will Smith, I was thinking the catcher, Adam Smith, the wealth of nations, um, this one I sold, for, I had it up for $29.95, I got an offer at $25, I accepted it. And uh, they paid shipping as well. I think two eighty nine in shipping. So it is, you know, it's the book itself is in pretty good condition. Um, let's see, nineteen fifty four, I believe, and it did have a signature up there. Dust jacket is not in great shape, so I was very careful to make sure I took a lot of pictures. I used all twelve pictures. You know, had the dust jacket on, dust jacket off close-ups of all the damage so making sure that everyone knew exactly what they're getting but well, this came at $25 I got this at Goodwill bins <laughs> I said it right that time first time nice I'm getting good at this you know I just got this at the Goodwill bin so they are three for a dollar so about 33 cents into that sold it for 25 um I started watching a video uh following a new channel called Katie Reads uh, first video I watched uh, tonight was one that she put out. Um, I guess she does mostly books. I really haven't gotten much into her channel. Just watched one, but that was interesting about her her use of the descriptive, the, the conditioning categories on eBay, whether you see brand new, like new, very good, acceptable, good. She was saying that she almost never she that she never uses brand new or like new, and very rarely uses very good. So I had a book like this that literally has never been used and i don't know if i put it up at brand new or like new probably like new because i think the only time i've ever used brand new is actually had one that's wrapped in plastic still but i got no problem calling this like new i mean it has no marks no you know no uh bent pages right i mean a little scuff there should i not be using like new for this so I don't know. I'm going to watch her a little bit more, get some more info about that and see that maybe I'm, you know, if I'm calling something like new, is it really? And then when you get something that's older, I don't remember what condition I put this one as, but probably acceptable um, because of the condition of the, of the dust jacket. It was either good because of the age and, or acceptable. I don't remember. But anyway, if any of you have some thoughts about that, about um, you know, how do you determine whether to call something acceptable, very good, like new or new or brand new? I'd love to hear about it. So I'm pretty happy. Going to be taking these to the post office tomorrow. 30 bucks right there. And, um, so that's it for today. Hopefully I'll see you sooner rather than later. Go Astros.